Looking out over these vineyards might evoke feelings of closeness to the earth and nostalgia. It may bring to mind a sense of pride and care that the owner of this land is deeply involved in the fruit it produces, because that's been true throughout history, and it continues today. The essence of winemaking is not only about grapes, but the people, wine growers, who care for the vines. It's about farming traditions that have been passed down through generations. But these days, it's rare for families to stay in the winemaking business as consolidation and buyouts are on the rise. Operating as a family business always has challenges, but it's really the only way we know how to do things. The wine industry is no different than other industries. It has experienced both globalization and consolidation. You walk down the wine aisle of a supermarket and you see wines from all over the world. This has created large multinational wine corporations but we're really confident about our niche in the wine business. Wine consumers will always seek out talented winemakers and unique, good quality wines. As one of the wine pioneers in the Santa Maria Valley and Paso Robles, Stephen Miller has witnessed this firsthand as many of his peers have succumbed to these pitfalls. But with a lot of patience and hard work, Stephen, who originally started farming vineyards for other winemakers, turned to winemaking. And today, with his sons by his side, the family owns and operates several wine-producing businesses, a legacy they plan to pass down to the youngest in the Miller clan. In 1973, when my brother and I planted our first vines in these vineyards, there really wasn't much of a grape-growing industry or even a wine-making industry here on the Central Coast. We sought markets in Northern California where the wine industry was settled, and we recognized that we needed to grow the industry here locally through efforts to support winemakers that were emerging in this region and providing opportunities for them to be able to make wine in a facility that we created. We have seen this industry grow and we've been very supportive of it. So the blessing of a family business is that it's the environment that you grow up in. I've got early memories of playing in the vines. When we came home from school and on breaks, we worked in the family vineyard. Now that said, as a company, we have a policy that any family member that wants to work for the company first must go out and work somewhere else to bring value back before they return. And so when my brother and I graduated from college, I pursued a career with a marketing consulting company, and he went into the financial world before each one of us independently made that decision that we wanted to return to the family business and bring that added value back with us. Since 1988, the Thornhill companies have served in every aspect of the wine industry. From grape growing to private labeling, the company continues to stay successful because of their acute awareness of what their clients want and understanding of what's relevant in the industry. They come to us because they have confidence that we are high quality growers of wine grapes. Some of them trust us to the point that they ask us to not only grow their grapes, but make their wine for them and they then take it, bottle it, and put their own labels on it. We also make wine for restaurant chains or for grocery store chains to be exclusive products for them. Finally, we make our own labels of wine, some of which include Jay Wilkes, Ballad Lane, and Smashberry. We are the most vertically integrated winery on the Central Coast. Consistency is indeed always a challenge for every grape grower and winemaker. We strive to do that in terms of how we farm, the pruning, the training, the thinning, the harvesting techniques. But Mother Nature with rain and with warm weather and even frost at the beginning of the season make that a challenge. Our ultimate goal is the quality of the wine that we're able to produce. And we are seeking to achieve the very best quality that finish is capable of. With the exception of Mother Nature's unpredictability, the Millers are in complete control of this entire operation, so the relationships they establish with their clients are personal. This is something they value tremendously, and these are the principles they're teaching the next generation of Miller family wine growers. This is more than a nine to five job. It really infuses our entire lives. Coming home from work, it's our wine that's on the dinner table. When we're on vacation, it's exploring other wine regions of the world and seeing what makes them unique and how they're special. Growing grapes, and making wine, it's really the story of our family. So I've never been as, as excited as I am today about what the future holds for the Thornhill companies and our family's business, is that we really believe that within the wine world, California has never had a better time. And within that, really the area in which we farm and live at the eye of the storm, 
seem to have more excitement generated around them than ever have in their history before. And so for Marshall and I and our family to be involved at this point really seems like we're, we're working towards creating something that will be a very long-standing legacy behind us. From the first moment of planting grapes, this has been a very exciting life for me. I find today walking the vine rows, tasting from the barrels in the winery, there is a new chapter to be written each and every day. And for me, that is so exciting, I can't imagine not always being engaged. To learn more about the Thornhill companies and the wine services they provide, visit us online or call the number on your screen.